Are you struggling to come up with fresh and engaging content for your website? Or maybe you've targeted all of your main keywords and now you just feel stuck. Well, in today's video, I'll show you exactly how you can use ChatGPT for keyword research to diversify your website content. So let's get started. Okay, in order for us to use ChatGPT effectively to find some diversified content for our website, we need to use some prompts. Now, we will be using the prompts provided by Keywords Everywhere. So go to keywordseverywhere.com and install this browser add-on. Then log in to ChatGPT and you'll notice this templates button on the bottom left-hand corner. Now, this is the ChatGPT prompt templates widget by Keywords Everywhere. Now, this widget has tons of prompt templates that you can use from copywriting, marketing, SEO, and so forth. But we want to take a look at the keyword research prompts. So I'm going to click on SEO, then click on keyword research. Now, you may be in a situation where you've been writing for a website for many, many years, and you've basically targeted all of your main keywords in your niche. And now you've basically come to the point where you're kind of stuck trying to brainstorm what additional content to write. So now you are basically at that point where you need to go a little bit broad beyond your niche or your main keyword topic. So I like to use the prompt template called Related Keyword Generator. Now this template is very powerful because it will get related keywords with the search intent from your seed keyword. So let's just say I have a website and it's all around indoor gardening. And over the years, I've written all types of content around indoor gardening, and now I want additional topics. So I'm going to put my seed keyword right here, and I want ChatGPT to generate 10 related keywords around my seed keyword. Now this is the full prompt template, and now you just need to click on Execute Template. All right, so ChatGPT generated 10 closely related keywords around indoor gardening, including the search intent. Now, these are all closely related to indoor gardening, but most likely you haven't really thought about these topics before or written content on them. So we have indoor plant care, home hydroponics, indoor gardening supplies, herb gardening kits, grow lights, vegetable gardens, and so forth. So now you have a list of topics that are related to your seed keyword, but are broad enough to where you can go deeper into these individual topics to write articles around them. So you'll essentially have tightly knit silos on your website with content all around, not just indoor gardening, but focused on hydroponics, supplies, kits, tips, and so forth. So home hydroponics stands out to me because I haven't thought about this particular topic before. So I could write an article around home hydroponics, and after that, write additional related blog articles under this topic, and I can interlink them together to create a nice silo on my website to create a cluster of content that are closely related to one another, and that will make my website an authority around this topic. So what I could do now is copy this closely related keyword and click on the templates button and now click on long tail keyword generator. So I'm going to put my seed keyword here and put 10. Now I'm going to have ChatGPT find long tail keywords all around home hydroponics. So we have those keywords here, including the search intent. So best home hydroponics systems, home hydroponics setup guide, kits, maintenance tips, so within a few seconds, I have 10 blog articles that I can write that's all around home hydroponics. And I can interlink each article together to create a nice cluster of blog articles targeting the home hydroponics topic. Now, most of these keywords are informational, but there are some commercial keywords as well. So this is a great opportunity to possibly, if I have an affiliate website, to write an article around cheap home hydroponics kits and link to various products on that page. And same for this keyword as well. I can write another article around this one 
and link to various products that people can buy online. So using these two prompt templates will very quickly get you out of that content rut that you might be in and give you a plethora of new topics that you haven't thought about that are not totally different, but are closely related to your main seed keyword. So now you have months and months and years of additional content that you can write about to gradually build your website larger and larger and capture that search traffic. All right, so hopefully you thought this video was helpful. Um, if you did, uh, let me know by hitting that like button and also subscribing to our channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos we have, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. And with that said, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.